Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre-market report for November 30th, 2016. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss, here to look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, we're just sitting at highs. One, two, three, four, five, six days here where we basically just held the highs. We haven't really done much. We're holding above the 2185 level, which is very important key level. Uh, any pullback into that level could be, or, or even as low as 79s, could be an opportunity for bulls to redefend and look for an additional squeeze. But if there's any failure to hold this zone, 79 to 85, we could be looking at a re-auction back down toward 2120, perhaps even lower. So right now we got to see how price continues to respond. At the moment, we're holding at highs. Even if you put something on here like an ADR um, style sheet here, you'll see how tightly coiled the price action has been, especially if you bring it up, for example, like on a five-day basis here. So let's bring this up to a five-day. It's right there. And you'll see how tightly coiled the price action has been over the last uh, five-day range basis. So this clearly shows that energy is building. We could be looking at significant expansion ahead. Anytime you get a super narrow range like this over a period of several days, you've got to be aware of the first breakout as oftentimes it could be a false breakout that leads to a move in the opposite direction. So just be careful here. As we play along, we've got to continue to watch the edges. Any pullback could be a great buying opportunity for another round of strength, but failure to hold 79 uh, could lead to much more weakness ahead. If we look at this on an intraday basis, here it is. On an intraday basis right now, you can see prices basically just held the space here between 2211 and 2197. And it's been back and forth, back and forth. Um, if prices can push through the 2211 or 2211s here, obviously there's more upside ahead into 21, 2220 and 2240. But right now, any failure to hold above that zone would re-auction right back to 97s and perhaps even try a little lower. So right now it's a fade the edges type of uh, approach until proven otherwise. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. Now crude oil had a significant rally in overnight trading. The previous session was an entire session of digestion uh, and absorption where prices were just kind of holding in the 45s and being absorbed the entire time. A small little intraday range formed off of 45s that range was broken to the upside in after hours trading and price just rallied big time the entire time right back to 49s. This is 45 to 49 in one overnight and pre-market session. We haven't even gotten to RTH yet. This is what I mentioned yesterday when I talked about the fact that we are right in the middle of a larger range. 52, you know, down to 42. We're right at the center of that range from 45 to 49 and we could continue to see whipsaws back and forth, back and forth because that's how price chops around composite value. So you have to be very, very careful. Uh, I did mention that trading the edges, so if price were to come down here to fade it would be better. Trading the edges up here, fading 49s perhaps back down or looking for something above 50. So edges are fine, but right now you gotta be very careful as it trades and chops just a little above and a little below VPOC because obviously you can see what happened here. Folks were real short and then boom, big time squeeze comes out. So right now 49 is big time intraday level to watch. If you look at this thing on an intraday time frame, right here you'll notice it's been a big time uptrending affair here. The previous session, again, here's the tightly cooled price action from the previous day. The RTH range basically took you from here to here. That was it, that was the RTH range yesterday. And then from there, you see the breakout to the upside in after hours trading, price pulls back, holds the defense, and then it's an uptrending market the entire time. So this thing has clearly run off. We've hit 49s yet again. 49 has proven uh, quite difficult to get through, but anytime you rally significantly the way we have, you tend to see digestion at high. So we could be looking at a fade the edges of the short term range from 47.75 to 49.25 and just look to fade those edges until proven otherwise. All right, let's take a look here at the next one up, which is gonna be gold futures. Here's gold. Now, if we look at gold in a daily time frame, one thing you'll notice is that price is basically just holding in a fairly narrow range here after a rejection day or potential re rejection day that occurred last week. So this is what we talked about Friday. 
big rejection or perhaps a big rejection below 1180. It pops back above 1180 and then prices between 1180 and 1183 half have been absorbed. Meanwhile, up here, bears have been defending 1200. So very, very tightly coiled price action, very bracketed from 1200 to 1180, 20 point range. If bulls can continue to keep this 1180 bid, watch the stops. The buy stops above 1200 could become at risk and you could squeeze quickly into 1233 followed by 1263. As of right now, crude has not really been able to find any lift. Even when it has formed an absorption signature, it was very, very slow to go about it. The last time it was successful, every other time after that has been a false move. So if there's any failure to hold 1180, we could be looking at another round of new lows ahead as this thing retests the lows and perhaps continues its downward price discovery. So 1180 to 1183, very, very important. Being below 1183 is not a big deal as long as they can trap and squeeze the bulls. So again, that's the 20 point range to watch as we head into uh, the rest of the week. Now let's take a look at the NQ. The NQ, again, this is something that's been very, very important, 4880. We talked about this in the trading room. We talked about it in our pre-market reports. Every time price closes above 4880, it's been a significant rejection to increasingly greater degrees. And so we did not close above uh, 4880 yesterday. I thought we might have a chance. I mentioned to our group, if, you, if it closes above 1180, watch for the failed rejection of new highs and look for some sort of pullback. And right now, we're seeing price continue to hold at that zone. What's important right here, short term, is that uh, the previous week's high is right in the mix. So here's the previous week's high. Price rejected at it and closed back below it. So then here in overnight pre-market trading, bears are defending, redefending that previous week's high. Right here, previous week's close is also being defended by bulls. So one way has got to give. Failure to hold this level will open up a retest back toward the previous week's low or at least try to climb down toward that zone. So right now, we'll continue to watch this. Uh, that area right there, if it continues to reject prices above 48.80, at least look for a move back toward 48.40 with a shot to see expansion from this range at some point down the road. All right, let's take a look at the intraday time frame for a moment. Again, 4880 was the big time level to watch in the previous session. And price rallied above it, tried to hold, failed back below it and closed back below it. So now it's being defended here off the previous week's high. So that's the previous week's high, 8475 being defended. Look at the LVN there. This could be a point here where every rotation becomes absorbed until it's ready to move. So again, this is a clear LVN, 44, 4885 to 4880. Major zone of resistance here. Pushing through that zone would spark another round of new highs, but right now, I would anticipate that there's gonna be a lot of defense in this area, at least short term. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.